Kaba Ilko is pleased to present the How to Select and Duplicate a Key video. This three-part video has been produced to help make your key duplications easier and more profitable. The first part of this video will review the basic principles of key selection and duplication. Next, we will demonstrate the operation of four of our most popular models of key machines. We will also cover routine maintenance tips for your key machines. And lastly, we will explain how to identify and duplicate both VATS and transponder keys. A key blank is what a key is called before it has been cut. Selecting and using the wrong key blank is the leading cause of miscut keys not working your customer's locks. Understanding the different features of a key will often help you in selecting the proper blank. The proper name for the head of a key is called the bow. Many manufacturers use distinguishing bow shapes like the one shown. In fact, 75% of all keys can be identified by the shape of the bow alone. Many keys will also have identification numbers or brand names stamped into the bow of the key to help you identify it. The shoulder or shoulder stop is used to properly align the key into the key machine and in the lock. Some keys will have both top and bottom shoulders. The top shoulder is on the side of the key that will be cut by the key machine and will always be nearest the milled portion of the blade. When a key has two shoulders, always use the top one to align the key in a key cutting machine. The blade is the portion of the key that will be cut and also contains the grooves. The pattern of the grooves on a particular key is unique to that type of key. This pattern of grooves is called the milling of the key. The milling aligns with a series of obstructions inside the lock known as wards. When the milling and the wards match exactly, the key will slide easily into the lock. This unique pattern of wards in the lock is called the keyway. Now that we know the different parts of the key, let's go to the next step, key blank identification. There are four categories of keys that customers will need duplicated. We'll cover the original and replacement keys first. Later in this video, we will cover VATS and transponder keys. Original keys are supplied with a lock when it is purchased. Original manufacturers' names are usually imprinted on the key. Some of the most common are Master, Quickset, Schlag, and Weiser. Some original keys will have a series of numbers stamped across the back of the bow or on the shoulder. These numbers are not used as a reference when selecting the key blank. Once you've determined the manufacturer of an original key, either by the bow shape or the name, refer to your Ilco key tower display. Newer key towers have six sides. There are four panels for automotive and two for residential and business key blanks. The key tower consists of key blanks for homes, padlocks, commercial locks, domestic vehicles, international vehicles, and other applications. All of the manufacturers are listed alphabetically. For this exercise, we will select a Schlag key. First locate the manufacturer's section and then select the key blank. To find the proper key blank, look for similarities in the shape of the bow and the blade length. Select the key blank, then closely compare the original to the blank by putting them together like this. Be certain that the keys match at the shoulder, then compare blade length, blade width, and blade tip. As a final check, hold the keys together like this and compare the end views. Once again, make sure that the keys are aligned at the shoulder before comparing them. Check the milling of both keys to make sure they are identical. Small differences become important on this scale. To verify, let's do a quick review. Compare the keys by bow shape, blade width, blade length, and tip shape. Then as a final check, look at both keys from the end and compare the milling for shape and size. Another way to select a key blank is to compare the customer's key with the illustrations in the Ilco number 60 catalog. This catalog lists Ilco key blanks alphabetically by the lock manufacturer's name. Actual size illustrations are used for each key for easy comparison. Let's select another key blank using the Ilco number 60 catalog. Assume that your customer has brought in an original key. Find the name of the original manufacturer on the customer.